The radiator is a critically important part of the engine cooling system. It ensures the optimal operating temperature for the internal combustion engine, preventing it from overheating. In addition, in some cars, radiators provide cooling of the engine oil as well as the oil in the automatic transmission. Thus, please keep in mind. If the overall performance of the radiator has worsened, the engine oil or gearbox oil will not be cooled properly. Therefore, you must pay close attention to the condition of this heat exchanger, how to replace the radiator correctly, how to deaerate the system. No worries. Nissan's experts are here for you. The dirt, leaves, gravel, resin deposits, it all contributes to radiator's performance drop. This specific exchanger is also leaky, therefore, it qualifies for replacement only. Replacement of the radiator is a good opportunity to check the other heat exchangers. In this case, the condenser looks very good, as does the intercooler. For them, a thorough cleaning will be enough. After their cleaning, we will be able to install the radiator. A good practice after the installation of the radiator is to check for leaks. The simplest method, and at the same time, the most reliable, is the pressure test. Install an adapter if needed. Use a pump and fill the system with air. The scale is clearly marked on the pump. Aim at the range between 1 and 1.5 bar of pressure. Pump until the pressure read out shows the required value. Once it's been reached, observe the pressure gauge itself as well as make a visual assessment of the engine cooling system to make sure that the system is airtight. This system is perfectly tight. After the system has been successfully checked, proceed to fill the system with coolant, but beware. In many modern cars, the advanced system's design makes it impossible to gravity fill the loop. That is why, a special filling procedure is required to avoid the risk of the air entering the system. In such a case, make sure to use a specially designed tool for filling. A device that generates vacuum, and thus enabling the system filled with a clean liquid coolant without the air getting inside. As you can see, the system fills up properly. Before filling the system up, it is very important to check which coolant is dedicated to the given car model and what is the capacity of the system before filling it. All goes smoothly. If no problems occur, the system will have been successfully filled and deaerated. If you are looking for more information about the engine cooling system, visit the Nissan's Experts portal. We are happy to share our expert knowledge with you, but maybe you too, have experience in the topic we are discussing. Share it, and the best tips will be rewarded with professional tools. Visit the Nissan's Experts portal.